Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Forza Motorsport video here on my channel. And in today's video guys, we're going to be discussing about the new AI and physics in the new Forza Motorsport game coming out this year in October. What we're going to be doing guys is discussing what Chris Isaki uh, has discussed with us in the latest edition of the Forza Monthly and the newswire that Forza have put out with a few more details that we can get ourselves into. So, uh, Forza Motorsport delivers clean, fun, and competitive racing in both single-player and multiplayer. They've prioritized the development efforts on circuit racing with modern race cars and modern production cars. This focus impacts the entire game, from the cars and tracks they've included to the new rendering features, physics, AI, and gameplay experiences that have been built. And with that in mind, they wanted to let us know that they will not have drag or drift game modes available at release. Again, no idea why. We will, however, have drag tyres as well as drift suspension available as car upgrades from day one, and you can enjoy them in experiences like private meetup lobbies. So on the Forza Monthly, they took a deep dive into the all-new advanced AI opponents and tyre physics, comparing the technologies to Forza Motorsport 7 to those that the players will experience on October 10th this year for Forza Motorsport. They also demonstrated these improvements for a series of in-development uh, video clips, um, and I hope I can... Uh, find some information for you on that as well so ai essentially drives forza motorsport so how do ai controlled cars get around a track there are two components at play the ai controller and the driving line the ai controller is how the game using uses the throttle brake and steering inputs to move a car around the track the driving line is the path that the ai controller will then follow to create AI opponents as fast as fast as human drivers, they had to do it without any cheats, hacks, and rubber banding. Often, this causes racing incidents for players and unrealistic competition. They also needed to reduce aggressive driving behavior so that they can ensure cleaner, more competitive racing. Therefore, in Forza Motorsport, they have ever evolved the Drivatar system to use machine learning. It no longer replicates the driving behavior of your friends, However, it still pulls in their cars, drivers, and customizations. The new AI controller has mastered every possible car, track combinations with car upgrades and weather conditions factored in. New optimal driving lines to find the desired path an AI car takes through the corner, ideal braking points, and target entry and exit speed. The computer drives each track 26,000 times each to achieve the fastest line through every single layout. Just like actual players, the AI also uses a lot more of the track, pushing it out to the track limits and even onto the curbs. The new AI can make mistakes, however these scenarios are not scripted. Instead, they will make natural mistakes like real humans do, such as breaking too late, going wide or even off track. Players can scale the AI difficulty from 1 to 8, with 8 considered unbeatable, and everyone can learn from the skills and driving professionalism of the AI to find the best driving lines and the breaking point. These AI opponents lead to clean, tight, and thrilling races in Forza Motorsport and will continue to be fine-tuned and improved upon uh, the AI behavior over time based on the data and player feedback. They've already told us once that the physics leap in motorsport is bigger than the Forza, Forza Motorsport 5, 6, and 7 combined. So with this 48 times improvement in fidelity, tyre results is a much more fun and rewarding driving experience with how the car accelerates, corners and brakes. Previous Forza Motorsport games only had a single point of tyre contact on the surface that moved you at 60 cycles per second. This one was a bit problematic for curbs and rumble strips, which could cause inconsistencies and unrealistic changes in suspension forces, which could also lead to tyres briefly losing contact with the ground as they're rolled over bumps, resulting in unrealistic loss of traction. The new tyre physics has 8 points of contact, with the track surface running at 360 cycles per second. This allows tyres to find grip on any type of uneven surface, and the result is better drivability anywhere and realistic behaviour on uneven surfaces like curbs. Forza Motorsport features a variety of tyre compounds to support great racing and different types of competition across several decades of production cars and race cars. Production cars will have the option to use street performance race or drag tires along with the wet tire the race tire is further broken down into three separate compounds soft medium and hard and each compound has different grip and wear characteristics the soft compound has the most grip but wear out the fastest making it ideal for a qualifying race tire and the hard compound has the least grip but lasts the longest making it ideal for longer stints without having to pit for new tires 
There is also a vintage tyre that is used for classic cars, but is not a selectable tyre for other cars. They've also died, dialed down the tyre heat model, and the biggest change is the grip fall-off at extreme tyre temperature. There is a much smoother fall-off as tyres reach higher temps, which allows for better drivability and predictability, even when you are overdriving your tyres. And um, that's, I think, pretty much everything that we did get told. Um, there's also, you know, so much more to share on the journey to the actual launch. Uh, we've been told that future topics will include featured multiplayer, wheel support and features, free play, PC features, thoughts at race regulations, additional car and track reveals and a lot, lot more. And I also did hope you enjoyed the um, gameplay in the background, which was of the Builders Cup from the previous Forza Motorsport, which is the new single player career mode. I've got a video on that as well, if you'd like to go and check it out. Um, as well, guys, in the background, there was some um, screenshots that I had also. They are from the Forza.net website, so feel free to go check them out as well if you haven't already. Looking very nice indeed. But that's it for me in today's video, guys. I did hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts about these tyre compounds and um, driver tyre physics are in your opinion and uh, let me know if they, you think they're going to be a good thing or not i would really like to see what you guys have to say but anyway guys like i said that is it for me in today's video i did hope you enjoy it if you did please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you over in my next video guys so i'd like to thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye